Hello and welcome. Today, we are taking a look at a very common, and yet, very unique little rodent. We will discover some amazing facts about squirrels, and what makes these little creatures so interesting. The word squirrel is derived by the Greek word meaning shadow tail. Squirrels have four toes on their front paws, but five toes on their hind feet, which is where they sweat from. Squirrels' teeth never stop growing, so that they don't wear them out from constant gnawing, and since their chewing is mostly an exploratory action, they will chew on almost anything they find appealing. Squirrels are born completely blind, yet in time, they develop an excellent sense of vision, which is extremely important for tree-dwelling creatures. Squirrels' peripheral vision is as good as their focal eyesight because their eyes are located in the side of their head. Squirrels can actually see what is above and beside them, without moving their heads, making it very hard for someone to sneak up on them. <coughs> Sorry. And although their color vision is not so great, their pale yellow lenses act as natural sunglasses by cutting down on sunlight glare. Squirrels also have very versatile and sturdy claws for grasping and climbing. And unlike most mammals, tree squirrels can descend a tree, head first. They do so by rotating their ankles 180 degrees so that the hind paws are backward pointing and therefore can grip the tree bark. Squirrels are generally small animals ranging in size from the African pygmy squirrel at 7 centimeters in length and just 10 gram in weight to the Laotian giant flying squirrel at 1.1 meters in length and the alpine marmot which weighs from 5 to 8 kilograms. Squirrels can run up to 35 kilometers per hour, and they will often run in a zigzag pattern, as an attempt to deter their predators. Their big bushy tail, functions as a built-in blanket in the winter, and as a sunshade in the summer. It also helps squirrels to maintain balance, communicate, and of course their tails can also be used as makeshift parachutes to help them slow their descent in the air, enabling them to easily cope with a fall of over, 30 meters. As squirrels can jump up to 1.2 meters vertically, and up to 3 meters horizontally, the tail definitely comes in handy. Secondary, squirrels can use their tails as a rudder, while swimming, and although they are not well known as swimmers, they do swim, and their tail helps them perform the magic. However, no matter how extremely handy and important their tail is, it has been observed that squirrels can still survive without it, as they would sometimes lose part of their tail in an accident, or as a part of a defensive mechanism against predators. <laughs> really? Yeah. Squirrels practice deceptive caching. You might have heard that squirrels are famous for hiding nuts as a food supply for the winter. However, the whole process of forging and storing their precious cargo sometimes might get a bit confusing. Studies have shown that almost 25% of their hoard is lost to other squirrels, various mammals, and birds. As a result, a squirrel will often dig a big hole whilst holding food in its teeth just to pretend to bury it in case other squirrels are watching. The holes will then be covered up, yet, the squirrel never actually deposited the nut. This tactic is repeated quite often, and of course, squirrels will eventually dig holes that they will deposit their food into. However, despite the fact that some squirrels will even organize their food supplies according to size and type, some of the nuts they bury, never get retrieved which naturally results into many of those acorns and nuts, to grow into trees. Although there are about 280 species of squirrels known to us, and despite the fact that squirrels can be found in a lot of different habitats, from forests to cities, and almost in every continent, excluding Antarctica, 
the average lifespan of a squirrel in the wild is only about a year. That is because most of them will die of starvation, and as for those who manage to find a more regular source of food, their life expectancy in the wild will be from 5 to 10 years, on average. As a lot of people keep squirrels for pets, this time is significantly higher, reaching in some cases, even 20 years. Squirrels have a very strong sense of smell. During their mating season, the males can trace the smell of pheromones left behind by female squirrels, from a distance of 1.5 kilometers away. Up to 40 male squirrels may be chasing a single female, but only one of them will manage to mate. The male is chosen by his ability to stay close to the female during the mating chase. However, the mating habits of the eastern grey and other tree squirrels are anything but romantic. Squirrels do not mate for life. In fact, as soon as the mating process with the dominant male has finished, other males will compete for a chance to mate with the same female, which may result in up to 30 relations in a single 24-hour period, and from 2 to 3 cubs per litter. Once all of the mating act is completed, the males depart and have nothing more to do with the female or their young. Bye, have a great time. Squirrels are considered herbivores, and primarily rely on foods such as nuts, seeds, fruits, and green vegetation. However, some squirrels also consume meat, especially when faced with hunger. Squirrels have been known to eat insects, eggs, small birds, young snakes, and even smaller rodents. Their natural predators include foxes, large birds, snakes, felines and canines. And as usual, our very own, civilized, compassionate, and intelligent species. So far, we have learned some interesting facts about those ever-busy little rodents. But, what about a squirrel's role in the ecosystem? Squirrels not only use the forest to live and eat, but also help the forest in its process of renewal. As previously mentioned, the squirrels will not always retrieve all of their stored food, which primarily consists of nuts and seeds. Given that the squirrels prefer to feed on specific seeds such as hazelnuts, chestnuts, pine nuts, and many more, all those nuts that will not be recovered or consumed by other animals, will have the chance to germinate and give rise to a new plant. So essentially, squirrels help to slow down deforestation thanks to their seed dispersal activities, and also help with pollination by consuming flowers and nectar. Additionally, as squirrels tend to quite often abandon their burrows, it is as if they are offering free homes to other small animals, and in fact, the burrow itself also helps the environment by causing aeration of soil and by fertilizing from the inside. So, all of that pretty much covers today's episode and all of the facts about squirrels. In my opinion, squirrels are a quite underrated little species. They are intelligent, occasionally forgetful and sometimes pretty cheeky. A bit like humans, right? But no matter how much their habits and behavior coincides with ours, one thing is for sure. Squirrels are far better forest conservationists than humans. So much so, that scientists believe squirrels are mainly responsible for the growth and maintenance of oak, and other hardwood forests. In other words, it might be safe to assume that squirrels are responsible for planting more trees than all mankind. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments, and please feel free to contribute with any facts that I might have missed. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing this video. Thanks for watching, and until our next episode, goodbye.